Thank you, Speaker. Uh, my question this morning is for the Premier. Good morning, Premier. Rising hydro costs in this province are threatening the livelihoods of small business people. I know in Windsor, more than 30 small business owners have complained to Larry Horwitz, the chair of the Downtown Windsor Business Improvement Association. Do you know, Larry? That's a good thing. They're worried about their, the cost of their hydro now, let alone a 40% increase coming over the next five years. This rising cost of hydro may force many of them out of business. What solutions can the Premier offer to small business owners in Windsor and in the rest of Ontario? Thank you, Premier. Mr. Energy. Mr. Speaker, there's a short-term solution and there are long-term solutions. The medium long-term solutions are in our long-term energy plan. We're, we're reducing uh, annual increases for the industrial commercial sector to 2.3 percent. Member from Bruce the National Green, Energy Board we'll has order. the 20-year projections for all of the provinces, and Ontario is the lowest moving forward because. We're not going ahead with $15 billion investment in new nuclear. We're not going ahead with $3.7 billion of power purchase contract with Samsung. And we're running a more efficient service, Mr. Speaker. Those numbers, those calculations are in the long-term energy plan. And when we get to the supplementary, I'll talk about some short-term solutions. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Speaker Enwin, the local provider in Windsor for hydro, they have a real concern because they're charging the same rates now that they charged customers in 2006. So all the increases in hydro rates are on the provincial portion of the bill. Will this government assure small businesses it has a plan to fix its broken hydro policies before they're forced to close? Close! Mr. <laughs> Mr. Energy. Mr. Speaker, uh, we are addressing issues concerning small business. First of all, very small business have access to the 10% uh, discount on their bill as well as farmers. For those uh, slightly larger businesses, Mr. Speaker, if they work closely with their LDC, there are very significant conservation measures to minimize prices, Mr. Speaker. In addition, Mr. Speaker, I personally have been consulting with small business groups. We are looking at ways and means to support them moving forward, and uh, we hope that in the foreseeable future uh, we'll have some price mitigation that will be uh, very well received uh, by small business. Yeah.